Hello. Welcome to another edition of North Coast History and Haunts. In today's video, we're going to further explore the disappearance of Beverly Potts. We're going to take a look at where she walked, where she was in Halloran Park, and what might have happened to her. In this video, we're walking away from the Potts' residence and we're walking toward Halloran Park. We saw this video previously, but we're going to touch on a couple key points here. The first point we're going to look at is how close the houses are to each other. This is a very tight-knit community. For something bad to have happened to Beverly, somebody probably would have seen it, or at least heard it. We're walking toward Halloran Park, and we're going to stop at a house coming right up here, and this house belonged to the Krauses. And Fred Kraus was the newspaper boy who had seen Beverly at Halloran Park as the park was letting out. But another key point that I think is worth mentioning is Fred's mother, Dorothy Kraus. She lived here with the family. In fact, she was out on her lawn from 8.30 to 10.30, and she told the police she saw everybody that went by. And of course, she did not see Beverly. So in that short time span from when Fred Krause had seen her to this point right here is a very, very, very short distance. So we're going to take a look at how close Halloran Park really is. And to our right is the Krause's residence. So this would have been the view Dorothy Krause had as she looked west toward Halloran Park. To see a young girl walking the sidewalk would have been prominent. She would have seen her, as well as her neighbor next door, who also said that she was out roughly at the same time frame and neither of them had seen Beverly at all. So as we walked here, here toward Halloran Park, we're gonna look at a couple buildings that are coming up that are prominent to this story. The first building we're going to look at is on our right hand side and it was known as a deli and candy store and it was really popular among the kids and that's going to be on our right hand side on our left hand side is a rough and tumble bar called walter's bar Nobody could really put their finger on it at the time, but it was known to be a rough and tumble place and the kids avoided it. For the, pay, the rough patrons uh, that were inside. So if Beverly Potts was exiting Halloran Park, it was dark, there were a lot of cars, she's scared, she might not necessarily have crossed the intersection right here. If a large crowd was crossing the street, maybe she would have went a little bit south across the street, and that's in front of Walter's bar. So let's just say she did that. So this is where roughly Fred Krause, the newspaper boy, would have seen her walking home. They said it was a diagonal sidewalk, so it would roughly be where that fire truck is now. So she gets to the intersection, there's a lot of people probably exiting, and she's scared. So instead of crossing directly across the street in that diagonal direction, maybe she crossed right there where this guy's crossing, or a little bit further down. If that was the case, she would have had to walk right in front of that bar. That's my first theory, that something bad happened to Beverly crossing the bar because there's a parking lot uh, just past that van and that would have been the perfect opportunity because beyond that there's not a lot of empty spaces and with neighbors being out somebody probably would have heard or seen her so the next component of the story is that these people had reported seeing beverly talking to somebody in a 1937 chevy coupe which would have been at that intersection um, right where that car is now. So that's my second theory, is that Beverly really did get hit by a car. Maybe somebody was scared, and they offered it to give her a ride to the hospital, or at least take her home, so Beverly got in the car. Maybe she was conscious, and maybe she wasn't. The second point 
is that we're going to take a look at that place. It used to be a formerly Sunoco gas station. And the lady who shut the gas station down at 11 o'clock said she went across the street to Halloran Park. It was completely deserted. But that used to be a gas station back in the day. And of course, she reported never having seen Beverly either. So we're going to cross the street here and there used to be a diagonal sidewalk that would have led right into the fire station, which of course was torn up to build the fire station. But we're going to walk down here and take a look at where the show wagon program would have taken place. The distance that Fred Krause, the paperboy, looked at was probably roughly would have seen Beverly right where this flag pole is. So that's how tantalizingly close she was. So as we walk here away from her house, maybe that's what happened. Maybe she got scared. Maybe she got lost. She didn't know where she was and decided to exit the park somewhere else. So as we turn and look one last time toward the Potts' residence, maybe this is what happened. So let's walk down here and see exactly where the show wagon program took place. So that's my third theory is that Beverly somehow got lost. We're standing in the southwest corner of Halloran Park. And this is where the show wagon program would have been. So we're going to speed it up just a little tiny bit here. But you can see how easy and how dark and how furtive this park would have been back then. So if Beverly is swept up in the crowd, it's dark, she's scared, she doesn't know where she's going, it would have been easy to mistake this for the other entrance. Halloran Park's a big park, so if she would have been deposited here, she might have struggled to find her way home. She might have talked to the wrong person at the wrong time and met with a horrible end. But this is the southwest corner of Halloran Park, and this is really where a lot of the rescue efforts were focused. So these are my theory on what happened to Beverly Potts. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Thank you.